today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, restore uh, a backup data from cloud and uh, to your MongoDB replica set database using KubeDB schema manager. For that purpose, uh, we are uh, going to use Vault server, which is uh, a CRD of KubeVault. If you don't know what the KubeVault is, it is actually a uh, credential creation management tool uh, to uh, make it actually easy and secure to managing the secrets in Kubernetes. If you want to uh, know more about that, you can uh, check it, check out my previous videos, or you can, uh, I, I have, I have, uh, I'm going to uh, put a link in the description. You can check it out. Here you can see that I have already uh, deployed a, a MongoDB instance, a MongoDB replica set instance, and a Vault server. If you uh, see the YML of Applied DB, there is the YML. Here you can uh, see that um, it, this is under API version kubeweb.com on alpha 2. And uh, the version we are using 4.4.6. This is the allowed schemas so that, uh, the, so that these schemas only, uh, these leveled schemas will be allowed to actually use our database server. The replica set name is simply replica set. This is the port name fleet uh, of the database server and uh, the replica count is three and uh, these are the storage spec of our replica set database server and here is the vault yaml here you can see that we are using version 1.9.2 and uh, in the ancillar uh, we are using kubernetes secrets wrapped as the backend which is the movie tool so these two already applied here you can see in the db namespace and db demo namespace respectively we are uh, going to apply our schema manager here so let's uh, show the yml first this is the schema manager yml this is under api version schema.qdb.com on alpha one uh, it has level uh, schema.qdb mongo these have to be uh, messed with the levels under uh, the db yml this with this one and uh, you can see that the server is MongoDB, which or I have already shown the one of the DB. The, the database name is MyDB that will be created after applying this schema. That will be restored actually. This, this is the Vault Rev, which is the reference of the Vault server. This is uh, the default retail time. After that time, uh, the secret uh, of this database will be, uh, will be uh, actually we could couldn't use that secret anymore that will be expired and the deletion policy is set to three and here is uh, this is the repository spec so you can see here the repository the repository name is mini repo and here is the spec of the repository this uh, we are uh, going to actually uh, restore our data from a menu server which is uh, running in our local host the packet name is backup mongo and the prefix is shard so we have already uh, backed up some data in that uh, that path here you can see this is the bucket this is the bucket backup mongo and here uh, this is uh, the path here we are using so that's it we are actually apply that repository and first apply the secret that's the secret we are referring we need secret the yml uh, should contain your credential of your uh, cloud so let's apply them one by one first apply the secret okay oh, let me show the current database status let's exit into it and use the credential to authenticate okay. here you can see 
there are four database and no database named mydb so after applying these we should uh, restore the MyDB database here. Let's apply the repository now. Okay, the repository has been applied now. And now time to apply the scheme. So I have applied the schema. Here you can see that this is status current. So if we uh, now exit into the database and show the DB, we should uh, see the MyDB database to be restored. Let's first uh, get the secret to actually use that. This is the secret. So this means uh, give it give secret. So let's view the secret first. That is the credentials. So we are now going to exit into the database. Okay. The username is this one. And password is this one. And authentication database is. Authentication database is this one. Okay. Uh, seems like something connecting. Okay, we are connected. So now, if we show the DBs here, you can see that the MyDB is restored. And as you already uh, know, that we are executing into this. Uh, this window as a root of uh, root user so we can also confirm that there here you can see that the mydb is there and the interesting thing is you uh, as we have uh, actually authenticated using this credential and this credential only can be used between uh, inside mydb so all the other DBs like admin, config, local that uh, that are not available uh, from this one. So uh, that's it. Uh, the schema only has uh, succeeded. So the data has been restored successfully in the replica set MongoDB database.